Want to know a secret for earning more money by doing less work? I'm going to talk about that today. Hey guys, welcome back to Confessions of a Girl Boss. My name is Christy and I help women turn their passions into their business. Today we are diving into the world of digital products, specifically the digital products that sell incredibly well on Etsy. Now I know about all these digital products, one from research, but two, because these are actually things that I've ordered on Etsy that I know are super popular and I'm going to share them with you. So if this sounds exciting to you, don't forget we are in the middle of our Etsy series right now. So be sure to hit that red subscribe button down below so you don't miss any videos. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so there's a ton of content coming your way. And while you're down there, if you have bought any of these digital products, if you sell digital products, if you have another idea for a popular digital product that people could make and sell on Etsy, leave it in the comment down below. Let's help each other out. Okay, so in the beginning I said there is a way for you to earn more money and do less work and that is by making digital products, specifically those that you sell on a platform like Etsy. And the reasoning behind this is because digital products are kind of one of those evergreen products for you to sell. So you'll do all of this work initially in designing them, but then once you put them up, if you have the SEO down and you have like all of your keywords and all of that stuff down with Etsy, there's really not that much that you have to do to maintain these products and that line of your business. So my goal is to have 80% of my revenue coming from digital products this year because I know what it's like to work in a business where I'm making and shipping handmade physical products and it's just not a world that I want to get back into, especially with a growing family. So digital products are exactly where I want most of my energy to go to. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. Where do I start? What do you mean by a digital product? And we're going to talk about all that. So if you don't know how to actually create a digital listing on Etsy, I do have a freebie that is going to start going out today. I will leave a link for it in the description box down below. That's going to teach you step by step how to create a listing for a digital product, best practices, any like issues that you're going to run into and all of that stuff. So definitely click that link in the description box. It's going to be the top line in the description box to grab that freebie. Okay, so when it comes to digital products, and I feel like I've said digital products like 20 million times in the past five minutes, but you know, we're gonna roll with it. When it comes to digital products, the opportunities and the like ideas are kind of endless. It's kind of anything that you can think of that you would get physically, you could turn that into a digital product and kind of like make it kind of like a DIY aspect, if that makes sense. But I have some, I think I have 11 or 12 ideas here for you guys to go with. Um, but like I said, if you have any other ideas, obviously there's a lot of different categories of business that I wouldn't know a lot about. So if you have another idea, leave it in a comment down below so we can help each other out. So the first one that I'm going to talk about is kind of coming from my background, but that is planners or an organizational tool that will help someone in some way, such as like chore charts for busy moms or like cleaning worksheets for busy moms or anything that will keep kids organized and occupied, especially now with everybody at home. I am filming this in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic. So everybody's at home. A lot of schools have been canceled. So any sort of printable that could help parents with homeschooling or organization or cleaning or anything like that is going to do super well in this space. Going on from that, planner stickers is something that I actually sell on my Popco printables shop on Etsy, and they're super popular. I haven't really dove into the entire collection of planner stickers. I kind of just focused on one main area of my physical sticker business that did really well and that was unique. But planner stickers are super popular. A lot of people have crickets or silhouettes these days and are realizing that it's really easy just to print and do them yourself. So that is also an option if you are creative like that, if you're already in the planner sticker world, create some digital planner stickers. Sticking with organization, you could make a workbook that will help keep a business more organized or help someone learn a new skill. If you have a specific skill that you know people are searching for, create a workbook or even a course that will guide people to learn that skill. 
Lastly, in this kind of like organization or planning space is digital art. It is so popular, especially if you're a talented artist. Digital art is a great way to get your work out there. You could charge additional prices for commercial use, which I know a lot of shops do. And it's a great way to make a crap ton of money, especially if you go viral in something like the planner world, you are going to make a lot of money. So my next idea is a social media branding package. And this would basically be anything that either a business or just someone who is really obsessed with social media and branding would use across all platforms. So you could do Instagram story templates, Instagram post templates, um, a Facebook page header, a YouTube header, an email list, or an email newsletter header, anything like that, a Pinterest pin, you could do anything like that, that would kind of bring a brand together so that it looks cohesive across their entire internet space. I talked in my five things that you have to do before you start a business about how important it is to keep your branding cohesive across the internet, especially when you're starting a new business. So these branding packages are awesome and really important. Something that I have seen blow up in the last few months is Adobe Lightroom presets. Now, a lot of people don't know what presets are. Essentially, they are Instagram filters, but you use them in Adobe Lightroom, which is an app. It is a free app for your phone, which is really handy. But if you have a particularly big following online, or if you have a specific way you edit your photos and a lot of people ask about it, they're a great option for you to create. They're super easy to create. I'm sure there's a ton of <laughs> tutorials online how to create them. It's not something that I'm personally gonna get into today, but they are a great option. I mean, everybody wants a cohesive, beautiful Instagram feed, or a lot of people just want really nice ways to edit their photos for them to print out for themselves. So it's a great option for you. Going back to the kind of business space Shopify, WordPress, and blogger themes are something that have been around for years. Ever since I started my blog in, when did I start my first blog? In like 2003 is when I started my first blog and I was shopping on Etsy for blogger templates. So they have been around for so, so long, but with everything changing so fast online and all of the like behind the scenes platforms changing, there's something that can be really unique. It can stay consistently unique and consistently popular. So if you have a, a HTML or coding background, definitely consider it. It is a lot of work up front, but I think it's one that will definitely pay off. You can also sell pre-made logos or logo template packs. I've personally bought logo template packs that would have specific fonts included and it would have like specific design elements included, but also templates that you can use and kind of like mishmash everything together to create a semi-custom logo. And logo design is something that if you're not confident in it, it's really difficult and custom, like totally custom logo design is quite expensive. So a lot of people search for these semi-custom options or the not so custom options that they could just like insert their information into. So that's an option too. Customizable printables are something that's really popular right now. So these could be save the dates, wedding invitations, thank you cards, um, I've seen like Photoshop, like photo collages that you can edit and kind of like insert your photos into anything that basically people can take their information and slot it in easily or their photos and slot them in easily. They are a great option, especially with the wedding space. It is something that a lot of people are trying to go the DIY route with especially these days. I know personally, we made our own save the dates and invitations using these digital products and they're a great option for you. So I do have two ideas to round out this list that aren't necessarily do a lot of work, make them live and then sit back, but they are something that are really popular on Etsy. So you could do custom design work. So you could create a website for someone and that's something that's really popular, especially if somebody has no time or no interest in putting that work into the back end of their website because even with a template like a Shopify theme, it is a lot of work to put it all together and to make it look cohesive to your brand. So you can offer that service. You can offer a logo design service, like I said earlier, or you could offer a complete and total custom branding package for someone. These are all things that people are searching for and that are important to a lot of people. So they are also an option for you to list on Etsy. 
Last but not least are custom drawings. Now these are super popular. I've gotten a few of these specifically for logos in the past or honestly I got one just for the fun of it because I wanted one of my family. Um, a lot of people get these and it could either be a custom drawing of people or a family or I've seen custom drawings of people's houses. I've also seen semi-custom doodles like Pumpkin Paper Co. from the planner community. She does semi-custom doodles where she has like a form with options that you select and you can mix and match between all of the different options and get something that's semi-custom to you. So that is also a great option. I know her sell out every single time she does it. So if you have that design expertise and that talent, definitely look into it. So those are all of my ideas for digital products that you could make and list on Etsy today. Like I said, if you have any other ideas that you want to throw into the mix, leave it in a comment down below. And like I said earlier too, this is the beginning or middle kind of of our Etsy series. So if you have any other requests for what you'd like to learn on Etsy or anything like that, definitely leave that in the comment as well. Make sure you subscribe while you're down there with that red button. It's free and you'll get notified every time I upload a new video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I think that is it. <laughs> I will see you on my next video. Have a good day. Stay safe and see you next time. Bye.